I think we've all almost died. At least once. Actually, I hope not. That's besides the point. Anyways, today, I want to sit down and tell all 14 of my subscribers the only interesting thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, so this happened to me in, like, third grade, I think, maybe. So anyways, I was at my friend's birthday party. We'll call him... So we're all at his house, huddled around his brand new, glistening PS5, taking turns, trying out Astro's Playroom. And by the way, if you're watching this for some reason, I'd like to point out that you only gave me, like, five seconds on the PS5. But anyways... Eventually, we all get bored and <laughs> decides we should all go down to the creek below his house. And personally, I was against this because I was a little whiny poo-poo head. But also, it didn't really matter what I thought because I was smaller than everyone there. So we went to the creek. We're down at the creek just doing normal children things such as throwing rocks, crossing logs over rapid waters, that'll be important later, and of course finding a murder shed in the middle of the woods. And so we're walking through the creek, and I think to myself, man, I wonder if there's a way I can convince everyone to go back. And then an idea pops in my head. I got it. I'll tell everyone I keep seeing things moving in the bushes. That has to scare them into going back up to the house. Yeah, looking back at it now, that plan never would have worked, but luckily I didn't need to freak everyone out myself because something already freaked them out. So it turns out, while I was busy contemplating my escape plan, the rest of the group had found an abandoned shed with a few shrubs in front of it, and <laughs> brother decided to go inside and he claimed to have found a knife rack inside. And so we hurriedly started speed walking through the forest until we made it back to the log route that crossed over the creek. I steadily climbed the trunk and began shuffling across the damp, cold log when suddenly I slipped. But luckily, I fell in a way to where I could just barely grip onto the edge of the log. Everyone watched as I slowly lost my grip. I swiftly turned my head, and since I was tinier than I am now, it looked to me like I was about to fall on top of a giant mountain peak. Thinking about it now, the worst that would have happened if I did fall was a bloody back. But I need views, Dagnob, so I would have died. As I was about to give in, his brother ran up to me, grabbed me by my coat, and yanked me up from the side of the log. And we went back up to the house, had cake, open presents, and I went home. Did you have fun? Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, good job on making it to the end. I hope you liked it. This was my first, uh, story time animation. Hopefully this goes somewhere. But, uh, let me know if you want to see more of these, because I have a lot of more ideas. And, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Bye.